Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. I've decided to come outdoors again today to film. Such a beautiful sunny day. I thought I better make the most of it because in a few months time, I probably won't be able to do this. Maybe, maybe I will. We do have sunny summers here in Sydney, Australia in sort of June, July type time. There will be sunny days, so maybe I will be outdoors again but we certainly won't get beautiful flowers like these uh, and I even found a feather I don't know what kind of bird this comes from but it's quite beautiful so you know lots of beautiful wildlife there is also a mango leaf which is massive have a look at that and that's something lovely so I've got nice little bits here and there to show you um, today's topic is going to be around what is real within you? What's real about you? Why did I choose this topic? I chose this topic because I think lately our focus has been outward quite a lot. We've been looking at the outside world, we've been looking at illusions, we've been looking at what's real, what's not real, what's really going on, how does this work, what is this life all about, am I doing the right thing, etc, etc. So, and we're all doing that at different levels of reality. So some of us are, we're looking so very much outward okay we're looking at what other people are doing other people who we've never met um, but also we're dealing with our own lives our own stresses our own jobs our own families you know so that's the external remit for some people some people are dealing with relationship issues some people are trying to figure out you know did I mean something to that person or did I not you know there's all this right there's a lot of external things that we're all dealing with at all different levels so I thought let's let's look at what's real within ourselves and let's feel good about that today I hope today's going to be a feel-good kind of reading and hopefully a simple easy reading where you just come here to feel good about yourself really that's that's what I'm hoping uh, we can all achieve from this one and a nice easy mirror okay so you won't have to do any too much soul work here I, I should hope not um, this, this should be a nice easy fun relaxed sort of a mirror where we oh look it's so good I've got a feather because I can brush off these things aha uh -huh. this serves a purpose right because I was wondering why did this turn up today okay now oh, I know all right so the other thing I wanted to quote at the very beginning on this topic of what it is to be real is I wanted to quote The Course in Miracles which is so beautiful which I read I have read a lot of The Course in Miracles I have not read the whole thing but that is okay I don't know too many people who have it's absolutely massive I've read very large chunks of it though uh, the the one quote that I absolutely adore from this is the very simple thing of nothing real can be threatened nothing unreal exists okay let me read that again nothing real can be threatened nothing unreal exists and this is definitely a quote that's come into my mind in recent days that's really just helping me be, you know, just helping me be my full self, helping me be grounded, helping me be there for people around me in my life. I love that quote. I think it's really fantastic. I will say that I have seen all the three groups uh, already. I've written the notes here as well. I've got some channeled messages that I'm going to share at the start, overall energies. As you can see, nothing real can be threatened. So I'll go through the channeled messages. I don't, I don't, I don't challenge, channel, no, but uh, these were just things that I wrote down in a, in a hasty sort of a way. I, I jotted these things down. So I, I will go through, but I, as an overall note, by, by the way, you might hear a kookaburra in the background very unique sort of a bird um, you can see one on my Instagram if you'd like but as a as a note for the whole group what what's really happening with this whole group what did I see today you know it was fascinating I had all of these laid out and I looked at the energies as a whole today which I do uh, you know I, I do look at them all together as well all three groups at once but I've never had this happen I had an extraordinary thing happen when I looked at all these three laid out all together at once they were all very similar and I will insert a picture here there was basically the lead hero card which is taken from the elements deck was virtually the same for every group and it features a bit of a storm 
at the start of every group. It's quite incredible. So no matter which group you put, pick today, you're going to see a kind of stormy picture at the very start. I thought that was quite incredible. The other thing I noticed overall that I've jotted down here in my notes to tell all of you, for those of you who do listen to the introduction, overall I noticed a lot of yellow and blue. Now, what is that telling me? That's telling me that this group who's gathered, right, because you've all gathered in the future, and I'm, I'm meeting the future, right? So this is all very fascinating as well. I get tripped out when I think about these things sometimes because it's so incredible. But what I feel with this entire group as a whole is that I feel like you're feeling a bit of the weight of the world on your shoulders. And I feel like you're feeling some pressure on your third chakra and I feel like you're feeling some pressure on your fifth chakra. Okay, so what have I got written down here? These things got written down in a haste and this is just what I wrote down. Stand confident in your opinions. Okay, that's for third chakra. Fifth chakra, I've got speak truth. Don't have to defend, don't have to argue. Speak truth and be patient. Okay, so these were the messages that have come through. As you can see, speak truth, don't have to defend, don't have to argue, stand true. Uh, speak truth and be patient. Yeah, and this was, of course, stand confident in your opinions, third chakra. So this came in a, in a bit of a haste, I just wrote it down, and that was an overall message that I have to give everybody. But honestly, I think these three groups are really quite lovely and what I'm feeling is that you're all incredibly amazing people. I'm feeling that you all care deeply and enormously about your community, about your lives, about your people around you. I feel like I feel like you're seeking what's real and, and I feel like, you know, what The Course in Miracles says, nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists. What is real about you is within you it's rock solid it's phenomenal and you are going to have your time in this world in this life to really share that and to be such a force for good in this world i really fully believe that you are here to do big things i know that and i'm hoping that that's what really comes across through this reading guys so i'm really excited to get stuck in the other thing is in terms of um gods came up as well i'll talk about it when when we get to each one of you but i mean amazing energies have come through i'm getting a strong feeling that whoever's come for this reading you are you're an amazingly strong person and you're an amazing person okay so um keep being keep being a rock in your world keep being strong and keep being you all right so shall we get to the reading how about we start okay so group one please pick group one group two pick group two or group three group three off you go i'll see you in your reading hi there group number one if you chose group number one you are in the right place let's take a look at your cards now, as with any of my readings please take on board what resonates with you please discard what does not resonate with you I really need for you to use your intuition as we go through the cards, see what symbolism strikes you, see what you think. Okay, remember this is just a tool for reflection and ultimately you are the CEO of your life. Coaches and astrologers and people will come and go, but you are the one calling the shots, you're the one making all the decisions. Use your free will and do as you want. Now, we've got wind change. Look at that, look at that absolute see it's a bit of a stormy sort of a picture honestly the lead card for every single group this time is quite stormy in nature i was absolutely blown away by that guys um yeah that really took me by surprise so we have wind there that's part of the elements deck we've got purification absolutely beautiful sunflower there so that's gorgeous clearly we've got Aha, Lord Shiva. Hello, Lord Shiva. Om Namah Shivai. I have been praying to you every day since last March and I have not missed a day. Uh, let's take a look here. Attraction. Supermoon. Attraction. Right. Okay. So we've got something coming to culmination here. Very interesting. We've got a couple of tarot cards. We have Page of Rods upside down we have the four of pentacles upside down reversed however you like to look at that and we've got Alnap 
roots and foundations and it says travel safe my friend get to know the world and explore but never forget where you came from okay this is a really beautiful spread guys really really beautiful and my interpretation of it is that there is a lot of change energy around you uh, and I do think that you're going to be that calm sane person in the middle who keeps the peace that's something that's real about you okay one of the things that's real about you and we're going to really get into this question what's real about you because that's what every single card here has been drawn to look at has been drawn in that context so i really want to explore through each card what is absolutely real about you one of the things that's real is that i'd say that you're hugely intelligent as well because we've got wind here and wind is air it's vata it's uh you know it's saturn but if you look at those air sort of houses we're talking third seventh and eleventh you know there's a humanitarian in you there's a diplomat in you there's a great communicator in you okay <coughs> and these are the things that are real about you you've got the ability to change i think one of the things that is real about you i think it's that you recognize that the only constant in life is change that things are never going to stay the same and i'm i'm getting the feeling that you're you're cool with that right you're not the kind of person see if this was in its upright position I'd have a bit of a challenge. I'd be going, well, but you are the kind of person who um, can be a bit stuck in the mud or stuck in your ways or, uh, you know, but you're not, you're upside, this is upside down. This is telling me that you have the ability to let go. You have the ability to change. You recognize when change is needed and you can go with it. You've got the ability now. You might be around people who don't want to change. And that is, that is something that might test your patience okay but i feel like for you inside you you're fine i feel like you're quite fine when it comes to to change you've got the ability to let go okay with the four of pentacles in reverse here i don't see you holding on tightly to anything i don't see you as being wildly materialistic either you know i see you as being someone who who is able to let go who is able to change when i first saw this card of purification this was a great card i thought this is so beautiful because this is really showing oh, hold on there we go I'm trying to get comfortable on the grass here whoops <laughs> there we go this is really showing that you've got sorry i just thought i saw a brush turkey out of the corner of my eye no i didn't okay good um, because otherwise, well, I would film it and I would show you because that would be part of the reading. Now, you've got the ability to alchemize. Whatever's not so pure in your life, I feel like when it comes into your presence, you've got a real ability, ability to transform it, okay? That's something that's very real about you. I feel like you have clocked up quite a bit of experience in life. And through possibly through past lifetimes as well we've got this beautiful super moon here an attraction one of the things that i'm seeing with this card is definitely that you have acquired many past lifetimes of experience that have brought you to quite um quite a level of sophistication and i feel that like because of that you're able to recognize when things aren't pure and you're able to alchemize, right? If things aren't pure, when they come into your sphere, they will start to purify, okay? Uh, just by you being. You don't have to do too much, right? I think that's very real about you. You've got, 
you've got some amazing gifts of, um, of transformation, of ability to transform. Look at this, we've got Lord Shiva here. Part of transformation is destruction. Part of transformation is death, you know? Things have to die, the old has to go. And I think you're, you're actually, I think you're, you're quite good with all this stuff. I really don't see that, um, that you're, that you're down or any of that. I definitely don't see that. I feel, but I feel the weight. I feel there's like a weight on your shoulders with all three groups this time. I have felt that like there's a weight, there's a pressure, there's a, there's there's um and it could be collective energies it really could be collective energies and that it that may very well be what this is representing i think this is tuning into some of that aquarius type energy here i think there is a pressure a feeling of um i need to be there for the collective And that's where, hence, the, the whole real thing is being explored. You know, what's real, what's unreal. And what's my role, right? What is my role? Now, your role, as I see it, is really coming from this card here. And I wrote down, actually, uh, let's have a look here. Okay, well, let me read out. I've got some notes for you as well. Now, with this Lord Shiva card, this was... So this is another part about your role and the realness of who you are and what you're here to, to offer the world. I've got written down here with Lord Shiva when I read the guidebook for this one. Uh, I got the notes, moving past limitations. You've done the inner work to evolve. So that really is being indicated by this super moon card here. As I say, I think you've got past lifetimes of loads of talent and experience and all kinds of things. You've seen it all, you've done it all, you, you know what's going on here. So you've done the inner work to evolve. I've got the note here with this Lord Shiva card, call to service to share your wisdom. Okay, this is another card that's really indicating a call to progress from the level that you're on. I feel like you're, mm, you've mastered the basics, the level that you're on. And it's really important now that you, you move to the next level. Okay, and that is linking in with this change card here. So you might be kind of still thinking, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a beginner. You're not a beginner, okay? You're not. You, are, you need to go up. Okay, so if you're stuck in your life and you're wondering why am I so stuck right now, I'll tell you why you're stuck. It's because you shouldn't be cycling, circling at the same level. You need to go up. You need to lift up, okay? So you need to go up to the next level now. So that's really important there. Now, this card is the one that's really talking to me about purpose here and what's real about you and what's real about your purpose in this life uh, it says here in the book it says need to let go in order to keep expanding okay so that is interesting right and a part of what was written in the guidebook was Mars and Saturn yes this is representing the energies of Mars and Saturn so again there's some of that stop start stop start and that might be you cycling at the same or circling at the same plane, but you need to go up, right? You need to go up to that next level and you need to operate from there now. But what really got me about this card was that, whoops, sorry, I'm just like <laughs> knocking the camera. Um, what really got me about this card was what it says here, roots and foundations. It says, travel safe, my friend, get to know the world and explore, but never forget where you came from roots and foundations that word roots took me straight to Osho and I thought do you know what you guys and I hope Osho is liked by you guys he's not he's not everyone's favorite right some people just absolutely can't stand him I personally adore Osho I think he's magnificent I think his teachings are amazing I know he did some dodgy things and whatever but I mean you know I still love the guy so uh, this word roots took me to this quote here which I'm going to read out for you and I think this quote is probably going to be important for one or two of you or maybe some of you I'm not sure but I'm just going to read it out so he says with me illusions are bound to be shattered I am here to shatter all the illusions yes it'll irritate you it'll annoy you 
That's my way of functioning and working. I will sabotage you from your very roots. Unless you are totally destroyed as a mind, there is no hope for you. Okay, so now I realize that, that is a bit dramatic and it's a bit full on. But what I like here is this thing about illusions are bound to be shattered. I am here to shatter all illusions. Yes, it'll irritate you. And look at that, we've got Lord Shiva here, okay? Like this quote is so perfect. And what I like is this line here, I will sabotage you from your very roots, okay? I will sabotage you from your very roots. I mean, look at that, shaking you at the roots energy, okay? That's profound. And I believe that what's real about you is that you can, you, you can go deep, you can be shaken at your roots and come out just fine. The other, you might have some eighth house, you might have some Scorpio going on, right? We've got Mars and Saturn, so, you know, um, as part of this card. So, look, you're amazing. You're amazingly strong. And that is the energy that I'm getting from all groups this time, that you're amazing, amazingly strong. And I feel like there's no place you can't go. I feel like you understand so much about the world. You've gone deep and I feel like you can help others and not in a, not in a scary way, not in a full on way, right? But in a, in a pure way, okay? I feel like your way is gonna be gentle and pure and beautiful and you're going to be able to do some of this hardcore soul work with people in a way that feels gentle. That is really what I feel from this group. And I think that you're just beautiful souls. I think there's so much that's real about you. I think that the depths of you are quite unfathomable and there's a lot that's real about you. And, and I think there's a huge amount that you understand about the reality of the world around you. and. I just want to encourage you and I want to say keep being you. Thank you as well for bringing your energy through um, in this reading because I've had a real, it's been a real privilege to, to experience your energy through these, the combination of these energies of, of the card has given me a, a feel of, of you and who you are and, and you're really something quite amazing. So thank you so much for tuning in to this reading. I hope it's been a good reading. Please do let me know in the comments below. I know that I don't always get back immediately, but I usually do uh, end up getting back eventually. So your comments really do help me uh, as I put these videos together. So thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group two. If you chose group number two, welcome. You are in the right place. Now, as with any of my readings, please make sure you use your intuition as we go. Check everything I'm saying. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Take on board what resonates. Please discard what doesn't resonate. If it's not the right reading for you, click on another video, visit another channel, whatever. It, you know, I really want you to use your free will to either be here and enjoy, or if it's not resonating, do something else. You know, life's too short. Okay, so we've got motion, we've got air. Now, I don't know about you, but is that looking a bit stormy? I tell you, every single group this time, has, the hero card is a little bit on the stormy side. It's all, we're all looking at clouds and we're all looking at stormy kind of stuff going on. So I find that absolutely fascinating. I've never seen that. All three groups having such synergy is quite incredible. So, and you're in a profound group. You're an amazing group of people. We've got Voyage here. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely stunning? We've also got a full moon there. Far out. We've got a lot of full moon energy. We've got a lot of, um, you guys are all really, yeah, everyone who's gathered for this reading, you're very, uh, I feel like you're an advanced group and you, you, you get a lot of gifts, a lot of spiritual gifts. Okay, we've got Dumavadi, Dumavadi, Dumavati, Dumavati. I hope I'm saying that right. My um, Hindi pronunciation isn't the best. I do understand Hindi, but I, I'm not the best speaker and <laughs> I, uh, I have a terrible pronunciation. That's why I stopped speaking because I, I got really shy because I don't speak it very well. 
my, my accent's not good. Okay, new moon, beginnings. Look at that, stunning. Again, full moon. Man, this is some big energies going on here. Oh, we've got a little baby crying in the background. Can you hear that? I don't know if it's coming up. We've got the Empress in reverse. Oh, someone's taking the bins out. Well, that might come <laughs> on the recording as well. I wonder if these are all important things. We've got a baby crying and someone taking the bins out. All right, this is part of the reading. It's part of the reading, guys. Um, six of Swords upright. Empress in reverse, Six of Swords upright. And we've got this beautiful card, El Garfa, realization and desires. If abundance is what you seek, your ambition must stream like a waterfall. Wow. Okay. So what have we got going on here? Well, we're looking at the topic, what is real about you? What is real about you? And again, with all the groups this time, okay, that doesn't want it gone. There we go. With all the groups this time, we've got this amazing thing of air and motion and we've got these clouds and we've got this storm cloud action going on up here and again as i was saying for group one i'm really seeing high vata type people i'm seeing kind of um three seven eleven so that's uh say gemini libra aquarius we're looking at mind people we're looking at creative people here that's what's real about you. I think one of the things that's very real about you is, is, is your extraordinary intelligence. Again, that's very much like group one. Uh, extraordinary intelligence, extraordinary ability to speak, to be a diplomat and to be a humanitarian. I do see these, these qualities are very real about you and I think that's, that's important for you as well. I think the other thing that's very real about you is your connection with the world at large you care enormously about the world and all countries all cultures all people right a lot of people who come to Vedic astrology I've done so many incredible readings for so many of you who you know very often you're like for example um, people who were born in Europe but who are living in Hong Kong you know and who, who consult me for a Vedic astrology reading do you know what I mean like Vedic astrology attracts such diversity and, and people from all over the world who live these amazing exotic lives and I definitely see you as one of those people and I, I see that what's real for you is that diversity that's something that's important for you I would imagine that the world would be boring for you if there wasn't that kind of diversity, if there wasn't that kind of diversity of people and thoughts and ideas. This is reminding me of a friend of mine who, he's an Englishman who married my friend who's Turkish and they're in London and anyway they want to move to the English countryside. So this is coming up for some reason, this little story. Anyway, he said that, uh, oh God, I can't live in the English, English countryside. I'd be so bored, you know, because he said it's just English people there. And he's like, I need the diversity of London, you know. And I, I feel like that's something that's real about you. I feel like you've got that multicultural, cosmopolitan, universal, you know, variety of life. I feel like, oh, this just wanted to join in the reading a little, this thing kind of hit me on the sh shoulder there. I don't know what that is. I'll just put it here. <laughs> Maybe we need that. I don't even know what it is, but we'll figure that out. Um, what was I saying? You. I was saying that you, one of the things that's real about you is your need for exploring the world, and being connected with the world, and caring about the world. I do think that's a massive part of who you are, what excites you, what's real about you. I'd imagine that that's kind of at your core. Now, we've got this Dumabati mm, card that's come up, which is, I mean, check that out, right? That's just so cool, right? What's going on here? Now, I did look that up in the guidebook, and what does it say? Ah, yes, I love this. Fantastic. This might be 
guys. This might lead to another reading tomorrow. I haven't decided yet if I'm doing this reading. I might. I might do a bonus reading tomorrow. I did a bonus reading last week. I might do another one tomorrow. I'm doing a lot of picker cards because, um, whoops, well, because I'm just, I, I'm being guided to at the moment. That's, that's how I'm being guided to serve. Um, in the, in the guidebook for this card, it says you're able well, this is what I've summarized it. It didn't say this, but I've summarized it to be this. You're able to connect the dots where others don't. Okay. I, I get the sense that you see beyond. Uh, you, you, you don't just take the status quo. You don't just take what you're being told. I, I see you as a person who is going to join dots and make connections and see things that, that others don't necessarily see and I think that's that's just brilliant right but what I will say is that don't overuse this skill wastefully or like too much for the outside world use it for yourself okay you've got new beginnings that are wanting that are beckoning you okay you're, you're being asked to walk through here now I think this full, these two full moons, to me, they're kind of showing me that you've given your energy, you've done enough now for the collective. If, say, for example, you've been worried about the collective or your light worker who has been devoting your energies and attention to looking after collective groups or any of that, I'm definitely being given a bit of a nudge that it's time for you to, to create your your new beginning okay create your world create your wealth create your abundance and that is definitely coming through this card here so we're going to talk about that in a moment let's take a look at your tarot though and see what's going on here the empress in reverse is telling me that one of the things that's very real about you is your independence you're an independent person at heart okay uh, we all love being the empress if we're a guy or a girl it doesn't matter we all love luxury we all love uh, being looked after and you know having the time to just be creative etc etc but this is in the reverse position and one of the things that that's indicating yeah look at that this is so true i've just read my notes yeah you've been putting too much time and i read that from these full moons but I've got it written down here. It might have put too much care into other people's needs. That is what this card is signifying. Yeah, absolutely. I think you have. I think you've been overly worried about other people. And it's, it's part of the territory. It, it, I, I understand it's part of the territory, especially if you are a healer, which many of you are. You're a healer light worker, um, and I'm getting that from here. But you're very creative as well. You've got all this air here, so you are a very creative person. But I think, yeah, I think it's kind of time to to become independent and to really be focusing on your own life and your own abundance now. That's going to be important going forward. One of the things that's very real about you, which I absolutely love, I feel like I've met you, um, <laughs> is that you know when to walk away do you know that that is a gift that so many people they don't know when to walk away right that is a phenomenal skill that is such a phenomenal gift that's such a terrific thing if you it's in the upright position it's beautiful it's healthy this is exactly what you want this is exactly what anyone wants six of swords upright is a great card and you've got it this is part of the reality of your makeup of who you are you know when enough's enough when it's time to walk away I feel like you're, you're pretty much on the money every single time with that in that you don't, you're not gonna do like go too much one side or too much the other side I feel like you you've got the ability to to kind of be right and do you know maybe that's this maybe that's why this it touched my arm as it fell down and maybe that's what this thing is maybe this is here to say the precision like because these have been dropping everywhere around me but not one of them hasn't landed on me whereas it landed on me during 
your reading. Oh, look, and I have this bug here. It's quite... ouch. Okay, what are you doing? Wait. Move. <laughs> Sorry. I've got a bug now. Oh, jeez. See, that is the danger of coming out here too much. There we go. I've moved it. I don't think that's part, but it was white. Maybe that's Venus. Okay, I'm getting too crazy now. This landed on me, is what I'm trying to say, and I feel like that is connected in with this card. I think I know why that turned up. That turned up to say that you are quite good at knowing when to stay and when to go. So you, you don't need to worry about that. You've got that. you got that down. That's what's real about you. That's one of the many things that's real about you. I've got the note here, yeah, you're fantastically strong. That's very true. Now this card, when I looked up the guidebook, it said that your vision is clear. And yeah, you're, you're on your purpose. And when you are on your purpose, the natural consequence is wealth. I'm, I'm being nudged here through this reading to say to you, get on your wealth side of things. Okay, if you've been neglecting that, if you haven't been, uh, maybe you've been up in your mind a lot or being creative a lot or connecting in with the collective a lot, it's like, okay, don't worry about all that. Come, come here. Come here. The best thing you've got going on in this reading is this new beginning and it is about wealth. You've culminated. You have come to a culmination. You really have. And I'm very much being guided to say you've done great okay in whatever it is that you've culminated on you've done amazingly well so i hope you take a bit of time to to celebrate whatever it is that you've been doing that has been good don't be hard on yourself don't look at yourself and say i haven't done enough you gotta stop that okay don't do that that's one to to leave behind leave behind that i haven't done enough business okay you have you've done a huge amount and recognize it feel good about it and then and walk through you're ready for the new now i'm sorry if i came across a bit harsh just now <laughs> i don't want to come across harsh but sometimes we need to be told you know and uh, i know i need to okay realization and desires now if abundance it's saying here if abundance is what you seek your ambition must stream like a waterfall you got to get on your purpose very much and you are independent and I think you are going to withdraw from worrying about everyone else. And I think you're going to focus on yourself now. And I think that you are very precise. You're a precision... I was going to say a precision shooter, but I, I don't want to be accused of being using bad language because that's, you know, I don't condone any violence or anything. But um, that precisely hit me, right? It was very good. <laughs> Okay, this has gone to some interesting places, guys. Now, let me just read this out. It says, natural consequences, wealth. We won't be wealthy if we don't feel deserving. Okay, that's another thing that's come up. Yeah, look at that. If you don't feel like you deserve, it's not going to come in. And that's all you really need to do. Focus on yourself. Feel deserving. And it's a tricky thing. To, it's very abstract to just say, well, feel deserving. You know, it's, it's a very abstract thing. Like, well, what does that mean? What do I do? How do I do that? I think you start by tapping into what's great about you. And through this reading, I've just told you a few things about what's real about you. I've just celebrated just, just a, a handful, a small handful of things about how, you know, you love the world and you're connected in with the world. And you know you love people from other cultures and you know you're an exciting adventurous person you know when to stop you know when enough's enough it's such a gift that's such a skill you can join the dots i'm just celebrating a small handful of things what you need to do is after this reading really think about what are the things that are really good about me and write them down and what are the things that are real about me write the things down that are real about you there's going to be so much more and feel that, feel good, feel deserving, feel like, do you know what? I am good. I, yeah, I, you know, if lots of money were to flow into me, I'd know what to do with it, you know. Of course you'd know what to do with it and you'd be, you'd be amazing. You'd be an amazing steward of lots and lots of money, right? So feel deserving, okay? Um, because you're the kind of person who will be creative, you'll share, you'll do something with it, you'll, you know, it won't just be 
some selfish thing that's for you. No, you're, you're not that kind of person. So feel deserving. And I'm really, really praying and hoping for you that the money comes in, you know. You deserve it. You really do. But you need to feel that you deserve it. doesn't matter if a thousand people outside of you say you deserve it. That won't matter. If you don't feel it, it ain't coming in. All right? So, guys, I hope that's been a good reading. Gosh, it's been a bit long. Um, obviously, that's needed for somebody out there, the extra length. So, thank you so much for tuning in. And drop me a comment below. Let me know how you get on with this. Hope it's been a good one. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, you're in the right place. These are your cards. Now, as with any of my readings, please use your own intuition. See what comes up as I go through the cards. See what symbolism comes up. See what it says to you. Okay, so make sure you use your intuition at all times. Take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. And of course, you can watch a different video. You can watch a different channel, whatever you like. Okay, we've got the trust card, you've got a new moon, which is absolutely stunning because the other groups have had quite a lot of full moon energy, actually. We've got Lalita Tripura Sundari. Okay. Oh, mango leaf. It's going out and about. There we go. Lalita Tripura Sundari. Right. Oh, I've got this feather here for a very good reason here we go ah, I can put our mango leaf back up there right what have we got we've got fruition gorgeous look at that ah and you've got a full moon okay Ooh, you've got a number one there adds up to a one three and seven fantastic we've got the magician number one mm-hmm yes good in reverse okay the five of wands in reverse love that card in reverse and we've got the markab pegasus it says here you have outgrown your own skin now it is time to utilize your wings how beautiful pegasus the flying horse all right so what have we got here now with all the groups We've had a stormy lead card. We've, <laughs> it's just quite incredible. I've never had all three groups having virtually the same hero lead card. These have all come from the same deck as well, the Elements deck. So it's like, wow, how is that even possible from one deck? But it is. And uh, yeah, it's all about air and storms and what's going on in the sky. So now for all groups, I've been saying that you have been quite linked into what's going on in the collective. So we are looking at houses 3, 7, 11. We're looking at air. We're looking at Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We're looking at, you know, you being a communicator. We're looking at you being a diplomat in the middle. Possibly you're a rock for people at this time. We've also got Aquarius, which is a humanitarian. So that's very much you. I feel like your role in the various groups that you've been in, let's say friendship groups, work groups, family groups, whatever groups you interact with, on a daily basis. I feel like you've been the calm one. I feel like you've been the one who who trusts. You know, the one who says, hey, no, guys, everything's gonna be fine, okay? I feel like you're that person. You know, you're that person who says, guys, come on, why is everyone going crazy here? We're all gonna be fine. You know that. And that's something that's very real about you. Something that's very real about you is your ability to be there for other people, to be a great friend to someone, to be unshakable. I feel like you can believe in someone really, really well. Now, how well do you do all this for yourself? That's definitely a question that is popping into my mind. I feel like you're probably quite good at doing that for yourself, but I feel like maybe not more is not the word that I want it's kind of like it's kind of I do feel like part of this reading is asking you to be a better best friend towards yourself right so not to do more but to to be a stronger better best friend for your own self and to think about okay what is it 
that I do so naturally and easily for other people? Do I do that for me? And I know Oprah Winfrey, she had a moment of realization where she realized that, wow, I, I go out of my way for my friends and my family in a way that I wouldn't do for myself. Yeah, and for some reason this is coming in. Okay, so uh, I'll give you another example. One of my friends, she um, she doesn't watch these, so I'll be all right saying it. <laughs> she said that she never she never cleans her own place for herself. But if a friend comes, she will. But like when it's just her at home, she doesn't do that. And I I once said to my friend that well, I I clean my place for me because I treat myself like a guest too you know it probably sounds a bit weird but like um i don't know that's coming in for someone for some bizarre reason i didn't know that was coming in but there you go uh i go with what comes now this card lalita tripura sundari lalita tripura sundari okay so what is this card about i looked it up in the guidebook and it said follow what feels good not what makes sense to a patriarchal system. And I do think that's kind of linking in with this concept that we're looking at here of what you do for others versus what you do for yourself, right? Follow what feels good. Follow what feels good to you, okay? Um, follow what feels good to you and do what feels good to you. That's, that's coming through strong, guys. So these are important messages for some of you out there. Fruition. What is coming to fruition for you? I'd say you've got many inner gifts inside that are ready to be shared. And that's something that's real about you. And I think you underestimate what you've got inside to give. I think one of the things that you do is that you assume that, well, that comes so easily to me, so surely that's a natural thing for everybody. But it's not. You see that, isn't that a fascinating thing? When we have a gift, when we have inner riches, when we have something that's amazing within ourselves, we assume, well, it comes so easily to me. Surely it's that easy for everybody else. But it's really not. It's a gift, okay? And I think you've got a lot of gifts inside. I think you're very talented. I think you're extremely creative. We've got this fire energy here. We've got the magician here. You are very creative. You've got a lot of fully formed gifts that are ready to go, right? And you need to value these gifts. And when you value them, the outside world will value them. It's like when somebody has to set their day rate or whatever as part of their creativity. Let's say you're an uh, illustrator and you draw. You've got to set a day rate. And, and, and so many people, they're so amazing, but they will sell themselves cheap. You know what I mean? I feel like this card is coming up. We've got number one here. We've got leadership coming in here. So I think one of the things that's real about you is that you are a leader. And I think you've got some fully formed gifts and I think you've got to kind of charge big for them. I think you've got to set your rate well and set it high. You know, um, that, is, that is really, really important. The other thing that we've got going on here is the magician. Now the magician upright is brilliant. It shows that you can manifest, you can create, you can use all the elements and you can make magic happen. People will be like, wow, how did you manifest? How did you do that? And you're just like, well, you know, again, it's your gifts, right? You've got all this natural abundant stuff in here. You're just like, well, like, yeah, I, I just did it, right? Well, yes, but recognize and you got to value yourself. You got to value yourself higher. I'm definitely getting that message coming in. Uh, with this in the reverse position, I would say that what's real about you is that you recognize you recognize the illusions you recognize when someone's lying to you i think you recognize the bs and the nonsense of the world right i think you know what's real i think you know what's what okay you know 
you've got that in intuition and knowing what I think though is that you don't trust it and I think the journey going forward for you we've got a new moon here is going to be about trusting that what is within you is so magnificent it's of such high value and that you must share it and you you need to value it first okay and um this is coming through okay Denise Lynn when I learned from her soul coaching she talked about like how soul coaches should charge an hourly rate and things like that and she was explaining I can't remember the figures she was explaining but she was sort of saying well this is kind of a mid-level and she knows but I know some people who have graduated from me they're charging like $300 an hour kind of thing and so 300 400 even she was she said it was really high rates she said that you you need to figure out what's comfortable for you so don't go low and don't go too high and keep working and like we've got bees here don't we yeah keep working right keep working and you will over time gradually increase your value as it feels comfortable to you but you've, you've got to find what feels comfortable so yeah it's really interesting that that's come up I didn't know this was going to come up um, the other thing that we've got here is we've got this five of wands in reverse now I love this in the reverse position because when it's like this it means look at that they're all fighting with each other aren't they this means that you're not interested in fighting you're absolutely not you're 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 not interested in fighting at all I think you're at a juncture where you don't need the outside world doesn't need to it's not going to block you anymore it's not going to you might have got caught up in it lately with this storm card but I feel like you are going to leave the outside world to its own devices it'll figure itself out where you need to be is you need to be honoring the great many gifts that are within you you need to trust that the outside world is going to love what you have to give okay look at this you have outgrown your own skin now it is time to utilize your wings you got to fly okay you've really got to and you've got to share what's within you you got to share all this abundance okay you've got fully formed beautiful gifts and talents that are ready to go you have to trust you have to trust that the wings are there you know you kind of got to run off that cliff and trust that the wings are there and that they're going to work right and yeah trust trust is coming up massively for you guys so what's real about you such a wealth such a wealth of abundance that you've clocked up inside and you got to trust that you, you, you're ready to go. you got to trust that the words that you need to speak will be there for you. You know, you got to trust that the ideas won't stop. you got to trust that the resources will be supplied. You don't need to have them all at once. You don't need to, and I, I fell into this trap. I used to think, oh, I better do X, Y, Z before I start my own business or do my own thing and I realized that I was making my dreams conditional do you know what I mean I was doing that to myself I was saying to myself okay well I won't do my dream I used to want to write a book I did write a book and um, yeah I said to myself I'll only do that when I um, have XYZ money or something do you know what I mean and in the end I just thought you know I'm just gonna sit and write the book <laughs> and I did <laughs> and it was one of the best things I ever did so um, so yeah don't make your dreams conditional that is that is definitely coming through in this reading wow I didn't know that was going to come through how phenomenal guys you are just amazing there's there's so much that's real and wonderful about you and that is ready to be shared with the world and I'm also now being drawn to look at this mask look at that she's wearing a mask right and I'm, I'm trust take it off you know trust like well if, if you want to wear the mask in your area because there are rules and you have to okay do that thing but that what I'm talking about is metaphorical and I'm, what I'm saying is reveal yourself reveal your gift share you have a lot to share that has culminated the new moon the, the new journey that you're going to take going forward which is a bit scary for you I think is really sharing what you've got inside 
I think that's what the scary part is and that's the new moon journey and it's going to take trust. It's going to be a phenomenal journey though and it's going to be beautiful, right? It's well lit, it's gorgeous, it's, it's paradise. Have a go, see what comes, see what happens, you know. Uh, and, and these, the storminess of recent past, that's going to die down. Don't you worry. And you're going to be called as you're needed. If you are needed by the collective to help or do anything like that in the future, you will be. You'll be called. You'll be asked. But till then, you've got work to do, right? So, guys, gosh, I hope this has been a good reading. Let me know. Um, sometimes I don't know. And like, I forget what I say and, yeah, it's all going on. Oh, look, you got one of these as well. But it landed here. It, did it land on the trust card? Maybe we were given a signal that trust, like, meh, it landed there. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, look, I've had a really great time being with you today. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading and giving you lots of love. Take care. And I look forward to seeing you next time.